my mom all right so this is going to be a video dedicated to my mother um one of the best people on this planet that has ever taken care of me till this day still takes very very good care of me and her kids and her husband obviously which is my dad so let's talk about it i'm currently in my room um and i just decided you know to let's go make this video very very quickly and explaining about this individual person who has done quite a lot for me and still till this day actually does a lot and means a lot for me because my whole family is important to me but let's talk about it so i did a video on my brother my father i think maybe i haven't done it yet but i'm going to do that soon and uh, i did one yesterday for about myself and um well let's talk about my mom so my mom was born and raised in england stoke on trent fun fact i've actually been there once very big god damn it's a big city it's good. we went this road because we went to go to uh my 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 grandmother her friend or something and he lived like three hours away from where we we lived but where my where my grandmother used to live from so we went this road and this road i swear to god i do not kid you it goes like it's like a mountain almost it goes down and down for like kilometers away very very big stuck on trend uh but my mom was born there and the weird thing is, which I still to this day don't actually get why this happened, but my mom, her father, and her mother moved to South Africa. I've got no actual clue on why the reason was why they moved from England to South Africa, but I'm quite happy they did because my dad met my mom, obviously, and his pull-out game is kind of weak, man. I'm sorry, my man, but your pull-out game is weak, dude. You made two accidents. And it wasn't me. I'm just kidding. This is satire, obviously. I'm joking a lot. If you can't appreciate a joke like that, then, geez, what can you not appreciate in life? You know what I mean? Me and my dad and my mom have a very good bond. My brother as well. But she lived in South Africa. And for quite a while, until she obviously met my father. But the crazy thing is when she went my, met my father, right? My mom actually lived in Johannesburg. And my father lived in Bloemfontein. So, which I think was a couple of hundred kilometers away, if I'm actually not mistaken. But it was a long time. My father actually one day walked all the garden way to Johannesburg to see my mother. Now, if that ain't destined love, man, I got no clue what it is. Because I bet you one thing for sure. If you lived in a remote place, I'm quite aware that Johannesburg is a remote. But back in the days, it wasn't quite big as it, as it is now. You know, Bloemfontein as well. It was Back in the days, Bloemfontein was an actual nice place to go to. Now it's just all... I've been there before. Personally, I can tell you that you don't want to go there. I was born and raised in South Africa and... She, like I said, she was born in Johannesburg, and she met my father. I think they went to the same boarding school, if I'm not mistaken. I think they did, if I'm correct. They met each other there, and, for, well, uh, they got baby at the age of 17 and a half, 18. wasn't actually planned. I don't know if con condoms were a thing, actually, back in the days. I don't know. Maybe he forgot. I just guess his pull-out game is his weak, you know. His weak, man. <laughs> But they got, you know, my brother obviously came out and, well, I think at the age of, whew, I think it was 10, my parents decided. Because the thing is, when my brother was 10, 11, we, he had moved, they had actually moved, because I wasn't born yet, obviously. They had moved to, oof, I think they moved in 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001 maybe. They had moved to the Netherlands and they had moved to, oof, I, can't, I can't remember what the place was it, um, from Maslow's, because we used to live there, obviously, you know, right? And my brother always wanted someone extra as company, and they decided, you know, hey, we're going to plan the baby this time, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I was the planned baby, and um, I came out, and uh, I made their life a nightmare <laughs> till this day. Now nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Well, I, but it's kind of true. I am, a, I am a nightmare sometimes. I can be very annoying. I'll be very honest with you guys. I can be annoying sometimes, but I obviously came out, and my mom uh, and my dad, you know, my brother then. And we, and I, obviously, lived in um, Maslow's, and my mom actually has a very, it's, it's a very good job. You know, she she works at Shell, and um, it's quite a lot of work. Like, she wakes up nowadays, especially, she's got to wake up at 7.38 in the morning, and wakes from 8 till, fuck, well, it could be from 8 till 4 in the evening. It can be 8 from 7, sometimes even 10 at night time. Because that means she has to work over hours. But she gets the job done correctly, you know. Um, my mom is a very hard working person. And I, I can't deny that. She has done a lot for my brother. Uh, for me. For my sister. And we are quite aware of the fact that, you know, with the job that she has. The hours, you know, the uh, lack of sleep. 
Because this really sucks the the soul out of you. Like this job that she's got really sucks the soul out of your your body, man. It's a lot, a lot of work, a lot of emails, a lot of you know conversations, very important meetings and stuff like that. I'm not trying to say that she's an important person, not at all, boss. She quite kind of is for us, you know. But you know, also for work, you know, because she's very, very skilled with what she does, you know. She uh, actually, matter of fact, she was the back in the times when she applied for the show uh, job interview she was one of the only women there actually believe it or not she actually told me this as well she was the only woman there the rest were all guys and well she got accepted she was the fucking i swear to god she was the only person that actually could provide what they had to have she was the f- she was the she was the one to get accepted and that is amazing and i don't actually know what we would be at this state if my mom didn't work for show um but regardless of that you know i still love her the same i don't Look, I don't look bad on people if they fucking have a good or good or less job. I don't care about that. But I, I do, I do believe, and I'm going to stick with it. If my mom didn't have this job, I don't think we could have ever possibly lived this comfortable enough. You know what I mean? Like just you know, go to the McDonald's, spend thirty, forty bucks for food. But you know, I don't think we could have done that. You know, if we would have bought or got our new house uh, two months ago, we, which you know. We, I couldn't have gone to McDonald's anymore, cause fuck, well, uh, we we wouldn't have the luxury and comfort to go and just spend forty, fifty dollars on groceries in a day, cause we don't spend a lot of money. You know, we're very good with it. You know, we're very, fun, you know, we're very, very small with money. You've got to be small with money. You know, that's why I also say to people, fuck, you know, you've got to be small with your bread. Don't throw it away one go, cause that's the worst thing you could do. It's throwing away what you've just made. I mean, yeah, sure, you can buy a nice Montclair jacket over a thousand dollars, but. You're really going to buy the jacket to just impress other people because of the fact that it's got a small little logo which is probably made in Romania because a lot of these brands make it in Romania because of the cheap cost. But fuck, my mom is a highly great important person to me and I owe a lot to her. And um, I know quite a lot to my father so, but we're not talking about him at this point. We're going to make a separate video on him this week. I love my mom a lot and I've obviously, you know, been through a lot of arguments with her in the past still to this day, but. 10 out of 10 arguments are kind of my fault it's never actually her fault because well fuck, i mean two days ago i had an argument with her about you know hair products of her that were actually in my room and uh, i said well they're in my room just go get it but in, in quite a rude disrespectful way and i didn't actually mean to come over that rude to her but i kind of guess it was a tone that i spoke to you know like edgy. i was irritated because i was like well Mom, it's literally just up in my room. Just go grab it. And then she said, no, I'm not going to grab it. I said, okay, well, fine. Then it's not my problem, I suppose. I can kind of a a, a, a way of me being there, so to But why doesn't she just grab it? Yeah, that's what I thought as well. But it's not. that's kind of not the whole point. The point is I had touched some of her belongings that weren't actually supposed to be in my room. It had been there for like five days. It was, to be quite fair, it was meant for a video, but I totally forgot about it. And I said, just grab it. She said, no, I'm not grabbing it. You can grab it. I said, oh, for God's sake, Mom, just stop being so difficult. Just grab it in my room. It's just, you just got to, you have to walk and use your leg and you were there. And then she shut the phone down. Because she wasn't happy with it, which I can obviously understand if, you know, with the amount of work hours she's got. I can't live in her head like that. Fuck, you know, she's got more important things to stress about, you know. But when it comes to females with their hair and makeup, don't play around with them. They are very dangerous when it comes to that stuff. Don't play around. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite lucky as well. I'm quite aware of the fact that I am very blessed. I'm going to be very honest to actually have a mom and dad that aren't divorced. I'm, you know, I, I used to go to school with these kids that, you know, back in the da- times, almost, I swear to God, 70, 80% of the kids on their school had parents, but either divorced, you know, in jail. I used to hang around with the kids that, you know, father was in jail, this and that. It's crazy, I couldn't imagine that, man, Jesus. God damn, I couldn't imagine my dad in the in, in jail because he beat someone up or some shit, you know. Can't imagine, I don't think he's capable of that. Although, only one person can know that is himself, obviously. Um, but I'd do anything for my mom, anything for my family, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd kill for my family. But I think a lot of us can agree with that, you know. As much as sometimes you can hate your mom and dad, you can't really actually hate, hate them. At least I can't, speaking from my personal experience with my father and mother. I'm not sure how a lot of you guys look at it like that. I'm quite aware of the fact that not everyone has got a good bond with their mother or father. It's quite a shame. But I guess it comes from both directions, really. You know, I can't judge anyone based off that. But I've got a very good bond with my mom and father. And, uh, well, I, I owe them a lot, you know. I'm very glad and able that they are so 
great and supportive towards me and my YouTube channels, you know, because um, I know, you know, a lot of people have told me as well that had YouTube channels, they said, my mom and dad are quite unsupportive, they don't actually support my channel, I said, man, that's quite fucked up, man, that your own parents they don't even support what you do because they think it's useless, a waste of time, go and doubt them wrong, man, go try and make your parents proud, try to show them that you can do it, it can take a while, it's going to take a very long time, but eventually you can get there. And obviously, I can speak from experience because I told my parents before I actually made this YouTube channel that I was going to make a, a channel for entertainment and just kind of do stuff for my fair, square time. And I did, and I'm very glad and grateful to have a, an amazing fan base. I mean, God, none of this would have been possible without y'all. I mean, come on, let's be honest. I wasn't I wasn't destined for this crap. You know, the reason why I say crap is because a lot of people get cocky and get big heads and say, yeah, well, I was destined to be a multimillionaire. I was destined to, be, to get rich or be famous. My man, you just you just had and have something that other people don't have. You've got something unique as an individual that some people don't have. And those people like seeing what you have and you being yourself. Like, I keep it honest in my videos. If I've got an opinion or something, I just keep it very, very honest, you know. I don't go lie about it. And uh, I just love my mother to death. Honestly, I've, I'm going to be very honest. I never do this stuff. I would never hit my mom. I, I personally can't imagine why people sometimes feel like they have they want to hit their mother. I mean, I guess, I don't condone, but I guess it's difficult to say because if, I mean, regardless, I mean, it kind of depends on really. I mean, if my mom was angry at me, my mom has never actually slapped me because, fuck, well, that ain't true. <laughs> fuck, you know, it slapped me on my arm. Like, fucking hurts, man. So, you know, slapping with a, with a, you know, like when someone's hand is like wet and it's got soap, that shit burns. Fuck, that burns. Well, the one time I was an asshole, I got soap in my mouth. That is so fucking gross. I sort of got it. If you've ever had soap in your mouth, that is nasty. It's so disgusting, man. I was I was cussing, and I wasn't allowed to say those type of words. Quite horrible, nasty words. You know, double K, uh, Nels. I think my Dutch people can understand what that means. Um, <laughs> she, she, she put soap in my mouth. Because I wouldn't stop saying the words. It's nasty, it's horrible. But I learned from my mistakes. Do never say those words again around my mother. And, um, yeah, I actually kind of forgot what I, was, what I was about to say, but at the end of the day, conclusion is, I love my mom and dad to till my death, and I'll do anything for them. I kill for my family. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I wouldn't let anyone try to hurt my family. Because if you do that, you'll mess with the Virgin King. You want to mess with the Virgin King, because I'll beat your ass up, man. I got some butter here. Super random, Keegan, why do you do this to us? I ain't got no clue, but... My mom is a great person, even though sometimes she gets on my nerve, I get on her nerves... We're a family together, we're all in this together as one unit, so you gotta accept each other regardless of the fact, but uh, yeah, I'm going to end this uh, video, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, hope you guys are liking the content on this channel, man, I'm switching up the, the you know backgrounds and that, so uh, hey, I think I've done quite a lot and enough talking in this video, um, next video is going to be about my father, because that's the last person I can talk about, really. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the great support on this channel, and uh, thank you so much for the glove in general, man. So, uh, peace out, virgins.